Isaiah was a wealthy man who lived about 700 years before Jesus was born. He was going about his day one day, and suddenly he saw God sitting on a throne, surrounded by seraphims, which are a type of angel. They were crying to each other and saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. The earth is full of his glory. Isaiah was surrounded by smoke. Seeing God showed Isaiah what a sinner he was, and he cried out that he had unclean lips and was surrounded by people with unclean lips. One of the seraphims took a hot coal from the fire of the altar and brought it to Isaiah and touched his lips. God freed Isaiah of his sins because he repented before God. Isaiah heard God ask, Whom shall I send? He said, Here I am, Lord, send me. God told Isaiah he would go and tell the people about God and the coming of his Savior, Jesus. But he told Isaiah his job would not be easy. He told them the people would not listen, and he would be giving God's message to the people as a prophet for a long time. New Testament writers John, Paul, Matthew, Luke, and Jesus himself quoted Isaiah and the things God told him to say. We never know when God will call us to tell people about him. We can be ready by reading our Bibles every day and opening our hearts to hear about God. The job isn't always easy, because like Isaiah, we will realize we are sinners and will have to tell others they are sinners too. But that's only the beginning of the message. Isaiah tells us that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our sins, and with his sacrifice, we're healed. We have a message of hope to spread all over the entire world to all people. No one has to live in their sins because Jesus died for us. Even in a crazy and sinful world, we can have peace and hope in our home in heaven.